The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, Chapter Four: The Road Through the Forest. After a few hours, the road began to be rough, and even the, the walking grew、uh, grew so difficult that the scarecrow often、uh, stumbled over the yellow brick, which、uh, were here. Here are very、uh, uneven. Sometimes, in sometimes indeed, they're broken or missing altogether, leaving holes that Toto jumped across and Dorothy walked around. As the scarecrow, having no brains, he walked straight ahead. So he stepped into the holes and fell at full length、uh, on the hard bricks. It never hurt him. However, and、uh, Dorothy would pick him up and set、uh, him upon his feet again, while he joined in uh, laughing uh, merrily uh, uh, at his own mishap. The farms were、uh, not early so well that、uh, he cared、uh, for her here as、uh, they were farther back. There were far. Fewer houses and fewer fruit. Trees. That the farther they、uh, went, the more dis dismal and、uh, lonesome the country became. At noon, they sat down by the roadside near a little brook, and Dorothy opened her basket and got out some bread. She offered a piece to the scarecrow, but he refused. I am never hungry," he said, "and it is a lucky thing. Yeah, yeah, I am、uh, not, for my mouth is only painted, and if I should cut、uh, a hole in it, I could eat the straw.、Uh, I am stuffed with.、Uh, I am. I'm stuffed with. The with. The wood come out,、uh, and、uh, that would spoil the shape of my head. Dorothy saw at once that this was true, so she only、uh, nodded and went to, on eating her bread. <coughs> tell me nothing about tell tell me something about yourself and the country、uh, you came from. Said the scarecrow, when the, the she had the finished her red red dinner, so she told him、uh, all about Kansas. So how and how gray everything was there, and how the cyclone had carried the, her、uh, to this queer land of Oz. The scarecrow often carefully. Yeah, and said, "I cannot understand why you should、uh, wish to leave this beautiful country and go back to a dry, gray place you call Kansas. That is because you have no brains," answered the girl. No matter how、uh, dreary and how gray our homes were, people、uh, of flesh and blood would rather live、uh, there than in any other place than in any other. Country, yeah, be it ever so beautiful, there's no place like home. The scarecrow sighed. Of course, I cannot understand it. He said, "If your heads are stuffed with straw like mine, you would probably all live in the beautiful places, and then Kansas would have no people at all." It is unfortunate for Kansas that you have、uh, brains.、Uh, won't、uh, you tell me a story while、uh, we are resting? Asked the child. The scarecrow looked at her reproachfully and、uh, answered, "My life has been so short、uh, that I really know nothing. Whatever、uh, I was only made before yesterday." What happened in the world before that time is all unknown to me. Luckily, when the farmer made my head, the、uh, one of the first things he did was to、uh, paint my ears so that I heard、uh, what was going on. <clears throat> There was another 
munchkin with him. And、uh, the first thing I heard was the farm saying, "Yeah, how do you like those ears?" They aren't straight," answered the other. "Never mind," said the farmer. "They are ears, just the same,"、uh, which was truly enough. <coughs> Now I'll make the eye," said the farmer. So he painted my right eye, and as soon as it was finished, I found myself looking at him and at everything around me with a great deal of curiosity, for this was my first glimpse of the world. That's a rather pretty eye," remarked the Munchkin, who was watching the far. "Blue paint is、uh, just the color for eyes. I think I'll make、uh, the other a little bigger," said the farmer. And when the second eye was done, I could see much better than before. Then he made my nose and、uh, my mouth, but I did not speak because at that time I didn't know、uh, what my mouth was for. I had the fun of watching、uh, them make my body and my arms、uh, and、uh, legs, and when they、uh, made my body and,、uh, uh, and when they fastened on my head, at last、uh, I felt uh, very uh, proud. For、uh, I thought <clears throat> I was just as good as I was just. Uh, as a good a man uh, uh, as anyone, this fellow will scare the crows fast enough," said the farmer. <laughs> "Why he is a man," said the other, and I、uh, quite agreed with him. The farmer carried me under his arm to the cornfield、uh, and set me up on a tall stick. <clears throat> Whether Where you found me, he and his、uh, friend soon after walked away and left me alone. I did not like to be deserted this way, so I tried to walk after them, but my feet would did not touch the ground, and I was forced to stay on that pole. It was a long life to lead, yeah, for I had nothing to think of, <laughs> having been made such a little. A while before, many crows and other birds flew into the cornfield. But as soon as they saw me, they flew away, thinking I was a munchkin. And this pleased me and made me feel that I was quite an important person. And the by and by, and the old crow fell, flew near me, and after looking at me carefully, he perched upon my shoulder and said, "I wonder if that farmer thought." Uh, to fool me,、uh, this clumsy man. Any crow、oh, of sense、uh, could see that、uh, your only stuff was straw.、Uh, then he hopped、uh, down at my feet and ate、uh, all the corn he wanted. The other birds, seeing、uh, he was、uh, not harmed by me, came to eat the corn too. So in a short time. It has a great、uh, flock of the、um, about me. I felt sad after this, for I, it showed that I was uh, uh, not such a good、uh, scarecrow after all. But the old crow、uh, con- comforted me and said, "If you only had brains in your heart, you would、uh, be as、uh, good as." The, a man as、uh, any of them, and a better man、uh, than some of them. Brains are the only things worth having in this world, no matter whether one is a crow or a man. After the crows had gone, I thought this over and decided I would try to harden some. I try hard to get、uh, some brains. By good luck, good.、Uh, You、uh, came along、uh, and pulled、uh, me off the stick, and uh, from uh, what you say, I am、uh, sure the great Oz will come give me brains as soon as we get to the Emerald City. I hope so," said Dorothy earnestly. Since、uh, you seem anxious to have them, 
Oh, yes, I am anxious, returned the scarecrow. Such an uncomfortable feeling. Good to know where one is a fool. Well, said the girl, let us go. She handed the, the basket to the scarecrow. There were no fences at all by the roadside now, and the land was rough and untiled. Towards the evening, they came to a great forest down the, where the trees grew so big and close together that their branches met over the road of yellow brick. It was almost dark under the trees, for branches shut out the daylight and made travelers. But the travelers did not stop and went uh, on into the forest. If this road goes in, it must come out, said the scarecrow. And as the Emerald City is uh, at the other end of the road, we must go wherever it leads us. Anyone can know that, said Dorothy. Certainly. That is uh, why I know it, returned the Scarecrow. If it requires brains to figure out, I never should have said it. After an hour or so, the light faded away, and they found themselves stumbling along the... Uh, in the darkness, Dorothy could not see at all, but Toto could, for some dogs see very well in the dark. And uh, the scarecrow declared he could see as uh, well as uh, by day. So she took hold of his arm and managed to get along fairly well. If you see any house or any place uh, where we can pass the night, she said, you must tell me. For it is very uncomfortable walking in dark. Soon after the scarecrow stopped, yeah, I see a little cottage at the right of us. He said, built of logs and branches. Shall we go there? Yes, indeed," answered the child. The, I am all tired out. So the scarecrow led her uh, through the trees and they reached the cottage. And Dorothy uh, entered and found a bed of dried leaves in one corner. She lay down at once, and uh, with Toto beside uh, her, soon fell into sound sleep. The scarecrow, who was never tired, stood up in another corner and waited patiently until morning came.